Alright, so this is the second time filming this video because um, I keep making the same dumbass mistake of not turning on my lock screen button and then you guys will end up getting the black squares on the side, which I don't want. So, beautiful, sun, shiny day in Oregon. About three clouds in the sky, sunshine's coming in good. I think it said it's supposed to rain today, but uh, you know, this is a bipolar state. So I'm thankful for that occasionally. So today, well, to start off, I'm going on a walk, get my mind right, meditate, not hesitate. I don't know where I was going there, I just wanted to rhyme. But I like to go on these walks, at least one a day, always. Two if I'm stressing on something. But I always go on a walk every single day, whether it be 15 to 30 minute walk, a little bit longer if I'm filming a video. But it helps me get my mind right, helps me get out of the environment where I am or where my problems might be and get a fresh perspective, fresh state of mind to better combat my issues and my problems that I might be facing at the current time. Very healthy, very therapeutic. I also like to go in the nicer neighborhoods to see where I'm gonna be one day, you know, with these pretty houses. We're not in a super nice neighborhood yet, but these are still great houses I would love to own one day. I'd be thankful for any of these. But today we got a question from a future collegiate wrestler. Congratulations very much on that as well, being accepted into, uni I think it's a university, maybe, or community college, something. You know, it's collegiate. It's still the next level. So very, very good job there. But it's a collegiate wrestler wondering how to lean bulk, gain about, he didn't approximate an amount, but I would say anywhere between 10 to 15, maybe 10 to 20 pounds of muscle for season and how to get stronger while doing it. So my man, I had to go through the same actual transition when I became a fitness coach going on 10 months ago. I had to clean up my diet because I need to walk the walk that I talk so much. I can't tell people to eat clean if my ass isn't eating clean. I still indulge occasionally, have my favorite foods every once in a while, but I also do daily doubles at least three times a week and do a lot of cardio and I have a high metabolism. That's besides the point. But my eating was 90% clean and still is. And that's how yours needs to be, man. Nutrition is going to be number, number one on that bulk. Come on, vein, pop out. <clears throat> All right, but you're gonna need to track your calories. Download My Fitness Pal. do yourself a huge favor, and go get that downloaded on your phone right now. It's gonna give you a base number of calories after you put in some information on how many calories you'd probably burn if you didn't do a damn thing throughout the day. So, you're going to increase that number by 500. What that is going to do, 3,500 calories equals one pound of body weight. So if you increase your daily caloric intake by 500 at the end of a week, which is seven days, you will have 3,500 extra calories inside of you. What that equates to is an extra pound at the end of the week. So it's very simple math to make sure that you can get a calculated amount of muscle growth every single week. So you wanna be gaining about four to five pounds a week. <laughs> no, a month, a week would be crazy because you're going to be going into season in about four months or at least preparing for preseason in about four months so if you were to gain four to five pounds each of those week months i need to watch my mouth you'd be about 12 to 20 pounds depending on how long you're actually going to be bulking for so you're gonna increase your calories by 500 every single day. Track everything that you eat. Eat 90% clean. You know, it's gonna be summertime. There's gonna be hot dogs and burgers everywhere. Still indulge, have fun occasionally, live a little, but 90% of your food intake needs to be clean. That means one barbecue every week or two, you know, and then you eat a little bit. The rest, chicken, greens, sweet potatoes, oatmeal, rice, peanut butter, mixed nuts, Almonds, pistachios, um, cashews, fruit as well. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned rice, lean, red meats. Look at these nicer houses, man. This is where I'm going to live one day. Leaner meats, chicken, turkey, 
all of these healthy staples that you already know you should be eating is what your diet needs to 90% consist of. So once you nail down your diet, because I could go on forever about your diet, but that's all you really need to know is increase your calories by 500. Also keep your protein and fats high. So protein, keep that at about one gram per pound of body weight that you are wanting to ultimately be. So let's say you want to be 155 pounds daily, you should be getting 155 grams of protein at least. Don't go overboard and get 200. That doesn't do you really anything. Get around 150 to 170, you know, in that range and you'll be perfect. And then from there, you want to get enough carbs for you to not be fatigued during your practices. So I would say for you about two grams per pound of body weight that you want to be at. So that's probably going to be about 300 grams of carbs a day. So that's going to be coming from those oatmeal, the sweet potatoes, the uh, fruits. Don't go overboard on the fruits just because they're really sugary. Um, keep it more of the complex carbs. But keep it at about 300. You want to keep those primarily pre and post workout. Pre workout to top off your glycogen storages and make sure that you are ready for your potential workout. It's like insurance to make sure if your glycogen is low before you go in that you're not tired. And afterwards, to replenish all that dispensed glycogen and uh, refeed your muscles, refeed your body, and make you feel better as well, too, because going extremely low carb is not fun. It's fun for the abs, but not for your mind and your body. So keep it about 300 grams pre and post workout, primarily in that window. Um, and the rest is all fats, man. High, high fats, high fats, 100 grams at least. You know, I'm saying like almonds, eggs, avocados, coconut oil, olive oil, cook everything in olive oil or coconut oil, um, mixed nuts, like I said, great sources of fats, leaner meats, leaner uh, red meats. And that's about it for the diet portion. 300 grams of carbs, 150 to 170 grams of protein, and then fats where you need to fill up the rest of your extra calories because you're going 500 over your basal metabolic rate or what you're burning after that because I think that's when you're sleeping. That's what that is because you're probably pretty active right now with practice and everything. But you find that out. If you're not gaining weight after that initial 500 calorie increase too, um, bump up your calories another 250 and just do that weekly until you start gaining weight and then you'll find your actual amount of calories that you need to gain weight because it can be iffy per person it's just a generic um, equation to get you close to the amounts so going into the actual exercise portion you're an athlete man your technique precedes everything so you're gonna have three to five you're gonna probably have five practices a week maybe three in the off season and that's gonna trump all always make sure that you have your carbed up beforehand and you have enough energy for those make sure you get in cardio three to four times a week so that could be a one or two mile jog in the morning. That could be 45 minutes of walking like I'm doing right now. That could be going on a bike ride. That could be doing some sprints. That could be going on a hike. Whatever you choose to do, get a mix of low intensity and high intensity cardio in there, you know, walking as well as sprints. And um, hit the weight room three to four times a week on a strength training routine. So when I say strength training routine, I mean no reps over eight unless it's an accessory. Ideally, all the reps are six and lower, if we're being honest. And then accessories like maybe push-ups and pull-ups um, and like back extensions would be, you know, 10 to 15 or a little bit higher for the push-ups, you know. But every main power strength movement, under six reps. And that's really it, man. You keep that up, weight train three to four times a week because you don't want to overload your body. You're gonna have actual uh, athletic practice three to five times a week, cardio three to four times a week, you know, and you may do cardio within your actual sports practice. And then get your nutrition right, 150 to 170 grams of protein a day, 300 grams of carbs, rest of your calories all in fats. If you feel hungry, it's because you're not getting enough fats. I hope this gives you a good key to success.